Ever wonder how when you do landscaping around trees they're able to get that circle so perfectly round and they do their edging so precise and you go straight from grass to the pretty mulch. If you ever wonder how they do that, I'd love to share the tips that I've learned. Be sure and watch this video. Hey guys, Jeff here with Project Next One and welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Uh, real quick note out, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in and I uh, want to share real quick what my channel is all about. Uh, here at Project Next, it's all about knocking out projects one by one. Uh, I always learn something as I do these projects and I like to share that information with you. So guys, please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and just come along for the journey of today's project. Um, I have got some trees uh, that I want to get my mulching done with and um, so a couple of real quick tidbits before I get started. Uh, one of the things is how do you get your circle nice and round and perfect and the same. Uh, a lot of people have different ways of doing this but the, uh, uh, I've seen them uh, take a rope uh, I've seen them take and cut a piece of wood a certain length and use that as a marker all the way around. Uh, I've seen actually uh, people take a belt and run a belt around it to get their marks. For me, I guess I'm kind of old school. I just take uh, measuring tape, decide how far I want to go out. Uh, most of the time on a smaller tree, I will do like 36 inches out. And as the trees mature, uh, I will eventually take it to 44, 48 inches out. Uh, and then, uh, so what I do is I just measure out and then I just use a little bit of uh, surface marking, uh, uh, marking paint. And you can see, I just put my marks around as my guide and that's what I will use to do my cuts with. Uh, and then we'll get onto that in just a second on the next thing as far as cutting and making your new edge. A couple of things, um, a lot of trees don't grow perfectly straight up. You'll see them grow out at an angle, then, then kind of change and go up or whatever. All trees have different shapes. So one thing, when you're doing your measurement, make sure you are absolutely at the base so you can get a, a good, accurate, and make your circle as round as possible. Uh, so anyway, with that all said, uh, let me grab my stuff and the next thing we're going to do is work on cutting our, our fresh new edge and then cleaning out everything that's inside and then putting down some fresh mulch. So you know me guys, let's get busy. Okay, so now we've got the area prepped. We've got our nice pretty edge going. Uh, we've got all the weeds out, which was a job. This one had gotten away from me quite a bit. And now it's time to make it beautiful. 
This is dark brown, double ground dyed. The reason we call it double ground is because they ran this through the mulcher twice and then they dye it on top of that. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it lasts two to three times longer. Uh, mulch just has a tendency to just fade away and this lasts a whole lot longer with the dye in it. So anyway, let's get some mulch down. Well, okay guys, I got one down and a few more to go. I'm not gonna cover these uh, in the video just because it's total repetition. Uh, you guys saw you do the edging, uh, your marking, your edging, and then landscaping. One thing worth a note before we finish up here is be sure that you don't do your mulch way up the base of the tree. The tree actually breathes out of the bottom of the tree down by the base of the trunk. And so if you cover all that up with mulch, you'll smother it and it'll die. So very important note, you wanna bring it up as thick as you can, but just don't overdo it. So anyway, let me swing the camera around and I'll show you. Again, you saw the videos from before, uh, nice clean edge. I will actually come back later on with the weed eater and turn it up vertical as I've showed you guys in previous videos. And I'll leave in the grass cut up around it as well. But as you can see from before, dramatic improvement and it gives you just a beautiful contrast when you're driving down the driveway to see the tree all mulched and of course the main reason for doing mulching besides the beautification is the mulch holds in moisture and with new plant uh, with new trees uh, you want to keep that moisture in just to keep it alive especially through the long hot summers that we have here uh, we've been up uh, in the mid to upper 90s and way in the hundreds with the heat index and as you can see by my sweating it is another hot one this afternoon so anyway guys thanks so much for watching remember here at project next there's always one more and again guys i'm sorry that i've been uh, not able to get the videos out like i like to but we'll get back in the groove here as soon as the job will allow and uh, uh we'll keep more coming again there's lots more projects so anyway thanks for watching guys stay safe we'll see you soon take care